What is up my Roger Bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay. So today guys what I want to talk to you all about is Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And basically all of the weapons we will see and what weapons we could potentially see as well. Now some of these weapons were actually shown to YouTubers and also shown in the campaign. So the first weapon we'll basically talk about is the RPD. Now this weapon was supposed to be the, in the final version of Call of Duty Black Ops 1. However, it was actually cut, but in the weapon files, you can still find it and it's most likely was replaced by the RPK. Now the RPK appears in Black Ops 2 and in both the campaign and zombies. Now this is an LMG which tends to have about 100 rounds in the magazine. Now moving to SMGs, we actually got to see the AKS-74U. Now fun fact, this weapon can actually be created in Modern Warfare's Gunsmith. This weapon was shown to us in the Black Ops 1 campaign and we were able to use it in the multiplayer. Now in the multiplayer side of Black Ops 1, this was kind of a high damage SMG and its magazine size was about 30, 30 bullets per magazine which was a fairly decent magazine. We also got to see the MP5 which of course everyone knows because it's in the latest installment of the Call of Duty franchise so there's no, basically no point in talking about that. Moving to snipers, we saw the M40A1. Now this to my knowledge, and when I say my knowledge, I basically mean Google and a little bit of my memory. We actually didn't see this sniper in the Black Ops series, but I'm full sure it was in other games before that or after. I'm not really sure though, don't quote me on that. Shotguns, we got the Howard 77 which seems to be model of the Stevens model 77e now I think we have seen this in Call of Duty before but it was before both the Black Ops and Modern Warfare series now the second shotgun we saw was the Spaz 12 this was the iconic shotgun from Black Ops 1 and was a semi-automatic and had its stock in a folded position now we could easily see that stock kind of be change where it will be able to fold it up and take it down hopefully because that's what kind of many people are looking forward to and this was a fan favor for many people and you could also put incendiary rounds which was extremely extremely cool and we got to see these bullets in action in the black ops campaign where i'm full sure woods throws you that shotgun and you shoot somebody coming through the door of the building that you crash into and you basically just light them on fire and it was such a good weapon next then we have the assault rifle now the ak-47 this is in modern warfare so there's literally no point in talking about this because it'll be more or less the same weapon next we got the m16a1 which we saw in black ops both the campaign and zombies replacing the M16 from Black Ops 1. Now the Type 63, not the Type 68 that many people have thought it was, this is actually a Chinese designed rifle and looks sort of like the SKS. Up next then we have the Commando. This is an old school classic from Black Ops 1 which was a fully automatic assault rifle and a beast of a weapon finally for assault rifles then we had the ak5c this is a automatic carabine and was a replacement for the ak4 and it was actually the leaked weapon with the multiplayer gameplay that looked to be in the alpha build that somebody leaked i think it was a game tester well most people are saying it was a game tester but really and truly it probably was we also got confer confirmation that the recurved bow, which isn't a crossbow, it is a curved bow, and it'll be interesting to see how this works out. I'm not sure how this is going to work, 
it's basically just our customization on it as well is just going to be weird because at least with the crossbow you had a few customizations explosive tip and everything like that i don't know how you're going to do with the crossbow or with the recurve bow it's going to be really weird moving to melee weapons of course you have your fists just like you do in modern warfare and you can actually assassinate people and then use their bodies as shields as well now if you can use them as meat shields while they're alive i'm presuming that's the way they're gonna do it because they're not gonna do it when you're dead you also have the combat knife which is basically just your run-of-the-mill typical old school knife that you always get in call of duty moving over to pistols then we have the m1911 now this is your standard weapon and we have seen this in i'd say about 90 percent of all the call of duty games that have been made after this then we have the cz75 this was a fully automatic pistol and it was an absolute beast of a weapon like you had that with your smg you switch over to your smg uh, from this weapon and it just obliterated people it was so 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 good now right now these are all of the confirmed weapons that are going to be in the game so you're probably thinking what other weapons or guns could we see in call of duty black ops cold war now we'll actually be looking just at black ops 1 and simple fact of the reason is because it just makes sense because it's a sequel most things from black ops 1 will probably be converted over into uh, call of duty black ops cold war because they're more or less in the same time frame so looking at assault rifles we could see the enfield come back this was somewhat a decent weapon in black ops 1 we also got the famas which everyone used and was probably one of the most used weapons if not the most used weapon on black ops 1 we also got the galil which was another iconic and most used weapon in black ops 1 as well then after that we had the AUG which was actually an assault rifle in Black Ops 1 and kind of thinking about it now it's really weird when you think about it because why would you have an SMG as an AR? It just doesn't make sense. Back then it made sense and it worked right now because you have so many new people coming in from uh, Warzone and from the likes of Modern Warfare because of its sales we could potentially see the AUG going as an SMG or it being cut completely for a new weapon we and we also bad, got bad, to bad, see bad, bad, the FN FAL in Black Ops 1 and we also see the FAL in uh, Modern Warfare so we don't really need to talk about that weapon but of course it was an iconic weapon back then as well and we also got to see in black ops 1 was the g11 which was just such a weird gun i can't even fully remember how it worked but it kind of looked like one of the shotguns uh from black ops 1 but was converted over to be an assault rifle and <laughs> it was just really weird it really really was weird moving to smgs we had the scorpion the mac 11 uzi pm63 mpl spectre and the kipperis i think i'm saying the last one right i'm not really sure the scorpion uh mac 11 and uzi were probably one of the most used weapons with the mp5k for smgs and the scorpion but both scorpion mac 11 and the uzi were somewhat decent with akimbo scorpion and mac 11 were probably one of the best with akimbos and then the uzi would have been third but all in all all these smgs were still very very viable to use some of them were slow shooting but others were really really fast like scorpion and the mac 11 and uzi they were all really really good weapons moving over to shotguns we had the olympia stakeout and hs510 now the hs510 was a really really good shotgun but also a really really 
weird shotgun at the same time just like i said it's kind of like the uh other weapon that i was on about the g11 and those two weapons were just so weird but the shotgun the hs510 was a really really good viable shotgun of course it wasn't as good as your olympia or stakeout but it was still a decent weapon to uh, come up in a gunfight with finally then we'll talk about LMGs and snipers. So LMGs, we had the HK21, the M60 and the Stoner 63. And most people back then were actually loving the Stoner 63 basically because it was called the Stoner and 420 blaze it, bruh, weed, uh, all that kind of stuff. And it was a really, really good weapon back then. I'd say that the, all three of the LMGs that I mentioned were actually very very viable up close and far away and it was crazy like when I think back now on Black Ops 1 like you could use any weapon and do decent of course you had your FAMAS that you could do really really well with the Gleel and everything like that but any weapon you could just go ham with and it was just so good that you could do that and hopefully in Black Ops Cold War that is going to be the same next and finally we have snipers so we had the dragon off which everyone knows the iconic sem semi-automatic rifle the wow 2000 which we've seen in black ops 1 the l96 a1 and finally the psg1 everyone basically used the wow 2000 just to mess around and the dragon off and then quick scoping was the l96 a1 and that weapon was probably one of the best ones it was a bolt action sniper and yeah that's it guys i hope to have another video coming out soon on maybe the perks or even the attachments that we could potentially see so attachments that we saw in black ops 1 and black ops 2 i'll probably put in together and say well this grip is probably going to be in the game this uh, optic will probably be in the game and many many more like that but this is the end of the video guys i hope you did like it if you did please hit the like button right beside the like button is a subscribe button that you can hit to subscribe to the channel and to give me another subscriber you can also hit the notification bell that's beside the subscribe button to stay up to date whenever i go and upload a video to my youtube channel or whenever i go live on my youtube channel which is rare speaking of live streams i tend to live stream weekly on my twitch channel link to that will be down in the description below once you're there you can hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever i go live on my twitch channel i also have a twitter account that i manually update whenever i upload a video or whenever i go live on my twitch channel link to that will be down in the description below as well and yeah, that's it guys, hope you like, subscribe and peace.